today we are talking about how to make homemade laundry soap. Here's a blast from the past, guys, and my recipe for homemade laundry soap, which is in our Dining on a Dime cookbook, volume one. Hi, this is Tara Kellum with livingonadime.com. Today I'd like to bring you the recipe for homemade laundry detergent. Homemade laundry detergent can be made for about 40 cents a gallon. You need borax, Bell's naphtha soap, and washing soda. You can find these items in the laundry aisle of your grocery store or discount store. You can also find Phil's naphtha soap online or at smaller country general type stores. To make the soap, pour six cups of water in a large Dutch oven. Then add a half a cup of borax, a half a cup which equals a third to a half a bar of grated Fells naphtha soap. Don't worry, it's very easy to grate and you can just use it on your home grater. And then a half a cup of washing soda. Stir until blended. You will want to take it over to your stove and bring it to a boil. Watch that it doesn't boil over in the first few minutes and then you can turn the heat down and leave it on the stove for about 15 minutes. That will thoroughly dissolve all the soap and your borax and your washing soda. Okay, I cooked it for 15 minutes. I poured it in another container and then I let it cool. It should be about the consistency of honey. If it's not, don't worry about it, but usually it gels up so that it's about the consistency of honey. Then you want to take a large container that holds three to five gallons. You want to pour a quart of water in your bucket. Make sure it's very hot. After that, add your soap to your water. Then stir until thoroughly mixed. Don't worry, it'll just take a second or two. After it's mixed, add enough cold water to your soap to equal two gallons. Then pour into liquid laundry containers, the kind with the screw on top, so that you can shake it up before each use. This will separate and you will want to make sure that you mix it before each use. Use one half cup per load of laundry, and if you'd like, you can add an additional amount of borax, a half a cup or so, if you have really hard water. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe from livingonadime.com. Please visit us today for more free tips and recipes. Okay, what do you guys think? That video was from 13 years ago. It was the third video that we had ever made on YouTube. Pretty funny, <laughs> seeing how far we've come since then. Now I want to answer some questions that we have on this video about how to use your homemade laundry detergent. First of all, you can use Feld's naphtha or Zote. Either one is fine for homemade laundry detergent. I'm a soap maker and I have like 300 pounds of leftover soap just from ends and pieces and failed batches and that kind of thing. So pretty much any kind of soap you can use for your laundry detergent. Not all clothes are going to really need soap. Soap helps get things clean but in an emergency situation you may just have to rinse your clothes out in water and just go with that if you can't get or find soap most people don't realize the laundry detergent doesn't actually get your clothes clean it's agitating it that gets your clothes clean it's soaking it that gets your clothes clean so first of all let your clothes soak i don't know half an hour hour however long you want to soak them but let them soak and then it's the scrubbing action that gets your clothes clean. So something like a washboard would probably be a better investment than even laundry detergent to start with if you're prepping for laundry off grid. People in third world countries, they literally just wash their clothes on a rock in the river or the creek and you may have to do that in an emergency situation, okay? So first of all, soap really may not be necessary. Secondly, you can use pretty much any soap. I wouldn't recommend dishwashing or dishwasher 
detergent unless you just really can't find anything else and you really need soap, you could go ahead and use those. Some people could be allergic to Phil's naphtha and Zote, ivory, those kinds of soaps. In that situation, you may just have to use plain water to wash your clothes. You could use vinegar to rinse things out if they're really smelly, but some people can have skin irritation with those soaps. So just kind of watch it. I probably wouldn't make a big batch first. I would do a test batch and make sure everybody in your family is okay with it first and then go ahead and make your big batch if everybody's okay with it. Yes, you can double or triple this recipe if you want. You'll need a really big pan, but this makes five gallons of soap. So I really don't know why you would need to double or triple the recipe. Also, if you keep it for a really long time, it could start molding, I would think. So, you know, you wanna be careful and not make too much ahead of time. Now, what you can do is make the powdered form so just go ahead and grate up your soap, add your borax and your washing soda and just put it all together. And then as you need it in batches, you can add your water. Now, some people do use just the dry itself, but I find that it doesn't always dissolve very well. Most people use cold water and it really doesn't dissolve in cold water very well. So just kind of use your discretion on that see how it works with your water. Now, the other thing is some waters, this does not work that great with. Really super hard water that's filled with a lot of minerals, I find that it doesn't clean as well as it does softer water. So like when I lived in Texas, it didn't work as well as when I lived in Colorado and we had softer water. Yes, this is super inexpensive. I mean, we're talking five cents or less a load probably still but make sure that you're not overusing laundry detergent in the first place, okay? A lot of people put way more laundry detergent in their wash than they actually need to, and you're literally just throwing money down the drain. I would start having the amount that you put in your laundry and see how clean your clothes get, and then when you get to a load where they don't seem to be getting as clean, okay, then go ahead and rewash that load with the step up from where you were. So let's say you're putting in a half a cup and then you go down to a quarter cup and then you go down to two tablespoons. Well, if two tablespoons doesn't quite get it clean enough, then go back up to a half a cup. Just kind of work with it for a few loads of laundry and see how much you actually need to get your clothes clean. Yes, the soap works in HE washers, because it's a low sudsing soap. So the problem with HE washers is regular laundry detergent just makes too many bubbles, which really doesn't do anything for the cleaning of the clothes, but it makes people feel good to see all those bubbles in their laundry. Well, for an HE washer, you just want a low sudsing soap. Now this can turn to a really heavy, like honey type consistency if it is, it's not a big deal, just stir it up. It's still perfectly usable. If it's, if it's too thick, then just go ahead and add some more water. It's not a big deal. Just go ahead and add the water and use it like you would normally. Also, there's been a recommendation that you can use Phil's naphtha as a stain remover. It does work as a stain remover, sort of. I will tell you, when I've used it on lights, it has actually stained my clothes uh, the yellowish color of the Phil's naphtha. So what I would do, take a little bit of your homemade laundry detergent, put it straight on that stain, let it sit for just a little bit, and then scrub it with a toothbrush or whatever brush and see if that will get your stain out. Now, by using this laundry detergent, it costs about $10 for a family of four for an entire year. Sorry, the sun came out, so I had to move. If you are doing more than three to four loads of laundry a week, for a family of four, you are doing way too much laundry. Now I get it if you have little babies that are spitting up or something like that, but really the average American family is doing way too much laundry. I do a load of laundry for me every two weeks, Mike every two weeks, Jack every two weeks, and Dave every week because his job is a dirtier job. Well, I don't do his laundry. He does his own laundry, just so you know. But, and then I do a load of towels, and sheets about three times a month, okay? So that averages out about three to four loads of laundry a week, including towels and sheets. And 
I don't use paper towels. So that's all my wash rags and kitchen towels and everything. So if you're doing more than that, you either have a construction worker or little kids that play outside and get really, really dirty or babies that are spitting up. But the average family really shouldn't be doing more than three or so loads of laundry a week. So cut back on your laundry guys. And if the fecal matter hits the oscillation unit, you're gonna have to cut back even more and you're gonna have to re-wear those filthy dirty pants like the farmers did. You're gonna have to re-wear re that stinky shirt several times. If you can't get easy access to water, don't have electricity and you're doing it by hand, let me tell you, grandma made the kids take off their school clothes and put on their play clothes for a reason because she wasn't about to do more laundry than she had to. All right, go watch this video next. Visit us at livingonadime.com and we will see you guys next time.